Well, the workshop is an absolute mess. Haven't really had the time to do any kind of cleaning up in here. But uh, anyway, here we have the Micromax computer that I recently found at the dump. And this does not work because half of the components are missing. There is the computer the way I found it. Now let's go ahead and take a look inside. And here we have the inside and as you can see it's a mess. Now we did left the power supply in here which uh, doesn't look all too bad and this actually is not a bad one. FSP Group Incorporated, Fortran Source. I think that's actually a pretty good brand. Pretty good brand name. It's a little bit dusty, but uh, I can clean that off, of course. Here we have the graphics card, which is nice to have because this connector right here is, uh, I think, the one of these connectors, I guess the yellow one, is going to plug into there and uh, that's the inputs for the video capture card. So I'll still have a video capture card if this thing should still work, this graphics card. Now, let's see, we have uh, some cables. And, uh, that mess down there and I think that's it pretty much. Of course we still have those uh, drives, floppy disk drive, CD burner and a DVD player. And that's about it. So now this is a more of a small uh, form factor case so I can't fit any kind of a big high-end motherboard with a high-end processor into there. However, what I can do is I can fit the motherboard into there that I once took out of that uh, Packard Bell computer that I found. The one that you've seen in the very dirty computer from the dump video. And um, this does have an Intel Pentium, uh, not a Pentium, a Celeron processor on there, 2.7 gigahertz. It is, um, as a friend of mine recently explained, more of a budget model. It's uh, good for saving energy, but uh, not good for high performance. But, uh, well, since uh, this computer at the moment won't have any kind of a performance at all, I think it's already a huge improvement if we put that thing into there. So, let's go ahead and get that done. Well, I guess I was saying things a little bit too quick there. Of course, before putting in all the new components, you do want to clean the case, and uh, that's what I've just done. It's now nice and clean in there. Dust is gone, at least for the most part. And the faceplate taken off and cleaned that. Is, uh, the previous owners were no smokers, but uh, they certainly didn't uh, pay too much attention to their things being nice and clean. And on the inside of the first plate it does tell you that the computer was made in 2002. Anyway, now we can go ahead and put in the motherboard along with the processor and so on. And here we are, it's a little bit later now and we have made some progress. As you can see, the motherboard is in place. I also managed to get the power switch and power LED and hard disk LED plugged in. The original Packard Bell setup used a special connector down there, but uh, fortunately I saved that connector, so I was able to figure out where all, the, all of those single connections were supposed to go. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like I will be able to use any of the connections for the handy front connector thingy because, uh, well, the audio jack that uh, this thing uses is, uh, well, is just not there, as you can see. Um, the USB connector is uh, 
completely different from the USB connectors on that motherboard. Although I, well, I have to take a closer look and uh, see, maybe I can modify this plug to go into there because it does seem like the uh, the cables are in the right places. And uh, of course, there is no um, built-in FireWire uh, port on this motherboard, so I won't be able to use that. And uh, yeah, really, the only connection that uh, I may be able to get work to get to work is uh, the video input. Anyway, um, there is also the power supply, which I've already plugged into the motherboard. I took that apart as well, did some cleaning inside of there, checked all the capacitors, and it's all fine. So that's there. And uh, well, I guess now the next step is uh, to build in all the cards and the drives. Well, it's certainly starting to look more and more complex. I have the disk drive, the optical drives back in place, as well as the floppy disk drive. Got those hooked up with the cables. There is uh, power wiring, all looking a bit messy. Here we have the graphics card back in place. Also got some RAM installed. Yeah, kind of intelligent. The RAM is what I installed uh, at last. <laughs> well, it was a bit of a problem to get it into there with all the cables in the way, but uh, anyway, for right now I put in 512 MB of RAM and I'm going to search for uh, some more. I do know that I have another stick of... Um, oh, what is that? Come on, focus. Here we go, 256 megabytes. But uh, maybe I can find a stick with uh, some more. Anyway, a uh, thing that's uh, now missing is a hard disk drive, and I guess then we're pretty much done. Well, I guess the computer is finished. I put in an 80 gigabyte HDD. Only problem, it's a Chinese made HDD, so I guess it's not uh, going to be all too much of a reliable thing, but um, I'm not planning on putting anything important on this computer, so that's, that's okay. Um, I blocked the slot down there, because that was open, and uh, well, organize those leftover front cables right there. So, uh, well, I guess that's it. I can't think of anything else to do. Check the jumpers. They're all in the right places. So now let's go ahead and hook this computer up and see what it does. Well, I guess we are successful. It is running. Here we have a look at the BIOS. There you can see all the technical data specifications. The date is correct. Uh, Exo Store, made in China, that's the HDD. Intel Celeron, 2.7 GHz, 512 MB of RAM, DDR400, that is. I don't know what that means, but uh, that's what it is. Well, it seems like uh, this computer can be used all the way up until 2099, so I can still pass this on to my children. They may be happy about this. <laughs> oh well, okay. So uh, I guess what I have to do now is to find some kind of a version of uh, Windows and get it installed on this thing. But uh, that's going to be for another video, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and see you again soon.